It's electric. Oogie, 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 oogie. Marvel Legend Collectors, your prayers have been answered. No more paying 70 bucks for Electro on eBay. You now have regular price 1999 Electro, <laughs> if you can find them though. Just like the others in this line, you got the retro packaging, you got the uh, 1960s, 70-ish picture of Electro on the side. He's got his old school costume, so they could only be designed in the 60s basically. Marvel Spider-Man, we've got Marvel's Electro. As the villain Electro, Max Dillon wields full control over electricity in his never-ending quest to defeat Spider-Man. And they got the picture to the left showing you that you can replace his fists with his jazz hands. Jazz. All right, there's Electro in his cage. Um, the packaging has the electricity on the closed fist. Uh, and I must say, I'd rather prefer that. The uh, sparks come out of the fingers look kind of passive, like maybe he's controlling a machine or doing something. But if he's going full blast at somebody, he's going to be shooting out of his fist. Um, so I think Hasbro kind of dropped the ball there, making the fist just not electric fists. Super high electric bill, booty shot. Wait, he probably wouldn't even have an electric bill. All right, so here are his jazz hands. They look good. I like that the ends are translucent instead of solid. When I see Electro in his old school getup, it reminds me of the first Avengers comic book I read. It was Avengers 236, I believe, or 237. Um, the Avengers were up in, uh, what was that place where they kept all the uh, supervillains before the raft? Anyway, so he was up there and he was there with uh, Moonstone and Blackout. And I just remember this uh, being a little kid, loving to see him next to Blackout because they both have big lightning bolts on their head. And man, I don't think there's a Marvel Legends Blackout figure. Oh man, Hasbro, get on it. All right, so up close and personal, you see that his mask is actually black, but the electricity is gold. So it looks like his mask is gold. And in the comic book, I'm trying to remember, yeah, it was an actual mask, it wasn't electricity on him. So actually his hood is black and the mask is gold. I like the face sculpt. That smile looks evil. And the eyes are glaring. They've been doing a good job on the eyes lately. And you see on his forearms, he's got those lightning bolt fins. This is so old school. Then on the back, see he's got his lightning bolts going down his back and they're painted nice and evenly. I have a little scuff on mine on the right side, but nothing to write home about. All right, mid section is clean. He's got his yellow tights, lightning bolts going into his waist and the lightning bolts on his leg start at the top of the joint. So there's no cutoff line, which is good. And the lightning bolt does line up. I have his thigh twist a little bit um, from when I was posing him and getting him to stand up. And he's been doing squats. He's got good, good cheek muscles. And oh, yay, serial number. Yay. Look at those boots. They are club worthy. Club worthy, I say. And look at those boots. They are truly club worthy. You go, boy. All right, got a close up of that face sculpt. Again, I love it. That evil smirk, that grin. That is dope. I wish they would start coloring the lips though. Differentiate the lips from the actual skin on the face. All right, articulation. We get the 360. The lightning bolts on his mask are soft rubber, so it's really easy to spin them around. It does look down. That's pretty steep. Get him back looking forward so you can see. All right, got him back looking forward so you can see. And he can look up directly at the sun. Nice. 
it gets very little lean. Taking a talk. All right, so his arms go up parallel with his shoulder. And he does have the double jointed elbow. As you can see, he can cover his mouth if he <coughs> coughs. All right, so his arm does get parallel to his shoulder. Actually a little bit higher. And he does have double jointed elbows and he can touch his face. He has a butterfly joint, but I haven't seen it before. It's a little bit different than the others. The cup is inset deeper into the actual body instead of out here, usually we can see it. So the arm comes in, but not as steep an angle as some of the other figures with the butterfly shoulder joint. So he does have 360 bicep swivel. And no forearm swivel, but you can pop his wrist all the way down and all the way up. So that's good. All right, check out the abdominal crunch. One click forward. Yeah, one big click forward. And then one big click back. All right, no swivel. You do get 360 on the waist. Good intermittent clicks. Check out the legs. Check out the legs. Get the 360 nice and smooth on the 360 thigh swivel. Does he have, yep, 360 on the calf. Let's see. He can, oh wait, no. There we go. He kicked forward pretty high. That's nice. There's a split. Mm, not bad. Looks like he's jumping because he's happy. Does have the double jointed knee, but you gotta really force it for him to be able to even get close to kicking his butt. But with that thigh lift range, you can get a steep bend there. Now, I've already answered quite a few questions, but the real question is, can he moonwalk though? Yes, he can. All right, so you see the right toes pointed all the way down, flush with the calves, and then the left foot points up pretty far, so that's pretty good. And we click him in here. Is this a rocker? What are we doing here? Yep, foot is on a rocker, but the range is shallow. Oh, there we go, had to loosen him up. Yep, all right, he's all loosened up now. There you go. Good range on the rocker. Electricity, electricity. Yeah, tell him my age. All right, so swap the hands out. Those look good. I like them, man. Those spirit fingers are scary. My, what long fingers you have. All right, liking this dude, man. You gonna pick him up? You have the old version, you satisfied with it? You gonna add him to the collection? The one thing with these retro waves, you get to pick and choose because there's no bath to build. I wish Hasbro would add baths to the retro waves. That would be awesome. Give us a retro bath. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know what you wanna see next. Till next time, geeks, thanks and geek out.